guys, it's your boy, Barca Boy 103 Now we did have some big news coming out today, but I forgot to do an individual video about it. Aimed all the hype this morning and afternoon about the registration saga and the press conference, the match preview as well, which I already uploaded today. I forgot to do a video individually on Collado joining Elche. I feel like, you know what, I always do for the first team players. Why not? We're all equal here. Let's go in now and just talk about Collado. Plus, I was kind of bored anyway. So, Fabrizio Romano came out saying that Alex Collado will join Elche on loan. No buy option has been included and they will pay only 50% of his salary and it will be completing after meeting with his agent that took place today. So, couple things. Number one, LJ, good move for him in my opinion, staying in the league. Of course, last season against, when he was on loan against Jornada for only six months, came in, had to earn his spot. He earned his spot like near the end of the season. Didn't really play that much, but going now super early at a lower team like LJ, he should be playing week in, week out. Then you look at the question like, oh, why is it only 50% of his salary? Look, Collado is earning peanuts, right? Peanuts, absolute peanuts. The fact that they're only covering 50% of the peanut, there's still some peanuts left that Barcelona have to take over. So I would rather they cover the full salary, but if they can't, they can only cover 50 and Collado really wants to move, then I can understand that point of view. But I think this move for him should be good. And of course, next summer he'll come back and his future must be decided. Also, Collado has renewed his contract until 2024 as well. So one year extension, very similar to Nico. Go out on loan, come back, and your evaluation, well, your player evaluation will be the exact same. I feel like with a team like Elche, he could really explode. Of course, lower team in the in the league. We're talking, you know, relegation battle side, playing week in, week out. Collado will walk in there probably as their best player. They do have Lucas Boy, I believe, unless he's left that I know, don't know of. So a decent striker up front as well and get some good assists. So wait and see, he's got a good left back in Mojica, who of course has been linked with as well. I think this Elche move can be very, very good for Collado. And I do believe that this loan move will determine his future at Barcelona. Goes there, plays well, comes back for preseason next summer. Chavi may give him a chance. He could have, you know, a PS 2.0. But if he goes to this loan move, does the average, you know, he's in and out of the team, did not really score that many goals or give that many assists. Barcelona may already make that decision on his future before he even comes back. But of course, there's that good relationship between Chabi and Collado. Chabi does love Collado, he's a fantastic player, but of course, right now in the team, not that much room for him. I think last season, if Coman did not freeze him to freeze him out and he was registered in time to play with Barcelona, I feel like when Chabi would have came in, he would have exploded under his management, of course, went out and got Adama Traore on loan, all that sort of stuff, emergency signings. But if Collado was actually with us and registered with us at that time, I feel like he could have done very, very well under Xavi. But while we'll the way for that, another season, hopefully, Elche will sign Collado in the next 24 to 48 hours. Also today in training, Collado was not present. He's now traveling to Elche, medicals, presentation, media, all that sort of stuff. He will be joining Elche in the next 24 to 48 hours. There will be an official statement from Elche and Barcelona of course, and that's pretty much it. We're going to end the video here. In terms of the next exit is going to be coming up, it looks like it might be Memphis Depay. Apparently, according to reports, he has agreed a two-year contract with Juventus. All that's needed now is for Memphis and Barcelona to reach an agreement, either terminate his contract or Juventus pay a small fee for him. So it looks like Memphis Depay will be the next exit. No big news yet on Braithwaite or Mtiti either, which is very... Very, very, very annoying. I feel like both players in the end will leave this summer. The question now is when. Of course, you want to get rid of them right now. The way you don't have to pay them their weekly salary for the last two or three weeks in August. But the more they stay, the more wages they will collect. So we'll have to wait and see on that. But again, Coyote to Elche will be a good move for him. Good move for Elche. Good move for Barcelona. Let's hope he goes out there, plays week in, week out, and of course, performs exceptionally. And that's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like. And of course, leave your thoughts down below on Coyote going on a load on Elche. What do you think about it? Good team. Salary difference. No buy option. He renewed his contract. Leave me all your thoughts down below. Of course, make sure you subscribe down below as well if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time on the channel. Take care and Forza Barca.